Cheers and welcome to Tipsy Book Talks. My name's Taylor, this is Luna, and today we are actually going to be doing my first ever reading vlog. Down. We both live in California, so we aren't able to travel to each other to film videos. So basically, we just decided to try to make it work doing it separately like we did at the very beginning of our channel. So I'm actually doing a reading vlog for the month of December, and the books that I'm going to pick up, I'm super excited about. If you didn't watch our December gift giving video, definitely go check it out. But one of the things that we wanted to do this month is try to challenge ourselves to read at least one of the books that we gifted each other. So this month I am going to try to pick up Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Um, this one has been on my TBR for I don't even know how long, like months, years, I don't know. But um, it has been on my TBR for a really long time and I never purchased it for myself. So this is one of the books that Rayanne actually gifted to me. So I'm excited to get into it. Um, I'm a little nervous because I'm in such like a happy, feel good, like Christmas romance vibe. So I'm like kind of nervous that this isn't going to be my cup of tea right now. Because I know like in general like this normally would be. But I'm hoping for the best. And then secondly... I want to pick up In a Holidays by Christina Lauren and I have never read a Christina Lauren book but I love Hallmark movies and I love things that like make me happy so I'm hoping this one will kind of balance out the intensity of The Cruel Prince. <laughs> You're so cute. It'll help me balance out the intensity of The Cruel Prince and like basically just give me those happy holiday vibes that I'm looking for. It is literally December 11th. Evermore just came out last night. I've been listening to it all morning and I just kind of like want something that makes me feel good and feel happy so we're gonna figure it out. But I've got a lot going on today. I basically just plan to keep listening to Evermore the rest of the day. Um, I'm gonna have some opinions on it, some really good ones. So far I <laughs> did one full listen through and I really really liked it so I'm excited to like actually like sit down and listen to the songs which I haven't done yet. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I think this is going to be fun. Also, let me just say, now that there's not, you know, there's fur all over me, but like, tis the damn season. I haven't vlogged in about a week and a half um, mainly because I haven't been reading if I'm being completely honest like I read that one day and I read about 15 to 20 pages and then every time I picked it up after that I would literally read maybe two to three pages and just feel antsy and feel like I need to be up doing something um, so this is a book that I really really wanted to read physically but I just, I couldn't, I can't read physically right now. I've been trying and for some reason my body will not do it. So I finally got it on audiobook and I have been like driving to and from work every day listening to it. So finally back in the swing of it, I've listened to about six hours of it. Um, so far it's really good. Like I really am enjoying it. I have a three hour... I commute about three hours every day, but I don't only listen to audiobooks in that three hours. I switch between that and music, depending on how loud my nephew is being. Um, but basically, like, I have been listening to that a lot of the time. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I had it, um, I'm doing some last minute Christmas shopping. It is three, no, 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 four days until Christmas. Um, and I... You know, I'm doing some last minute shopping. I have my earbuds in while doing it and it's been really nice to just like consume it that way and still be able to like listen but not feel like I need to like sit down and read it in that moment. 
anyways that's kind of what i'm feeling right now that's my rant on audiobooks for the day i don't know what it is about the quarantine too that has made it so much harder for me to read physical books but sitting down and reading and that being the only thing that i'm doing has been making me like anxious recently so it's been really hard for me to just read a physical book and not have to do like the audiobook while also doing dishes or cleaning or something with my hands so I don't know if anyone else is having that problem, but definitely let me know because I feel a little alone in this. Okay, I just wanted to hop on here and tell you guys that I suck at vlogging and I am trying so hard to be better about it. I don't know what it was. It is a couple days after Christmas, so if you think about it, it's been like a week since I vlogged. But I, part of me just like completely forgot that I was even doing it. And I think that if I were to start doing it consistently, like I would kind of get into a routine of doing it. But uh, so far this week, I have not been very good, but I did finish The Cruel Prince. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I was about um, a few chapters in and I was having so much trouble reading the physical book. So finally, I was switching between audiobook and physical book, trying to keep myself motivated in reading it, and I finished it. I ended up really getting into it about halfway through it where I was like I didn't really need to listen to the audiobook or really need to like motivate myself it kind of just happened which we love to see but um it was a hard reading week for me I don't know it was really hard to actually like, get motivated to read it so when I finally did feel like excited to pick it back up that was really exciting for me um I gave it about a four stars I genuinely really enjoyed it I thought this was going to be more of like an enemies to lovers but Honestly, this is like an enemies as lovers, and I don't want to give away any more than that, but it's like so good, so good, and so complex, and so terrible. These characters are terrible, and I love some character, some terrible characters. Um, I don't know what it is. I just like to read about terrible people, and that's what this is. So, finish this one, and then also what I have been picking up, so I didn't plan to do this at all. But there is a Throne of glass -a -thon going on, and I told myself I was not going to do it. I was like, you've read it so many times, can you just, like, take a step back? And so I <laughs> told myself a couple times that I was going to do that, and then here I am rereading it. Um, mainly, okay, so I'm doing it because of the Throne of glass -a -thon. Um, My friend on Twitter, her name is Sid. Um, well, her, like, YouTube name is Sid Bookworm. Hi, I love you. Um, but I saw her announcement video, and I was like, that sounds so fun, and, like, most of them are reading it for the first time, but I just kind of was like, that sounds really fun, and I'm excited to watch their videos on it, and I wasn't gonna reread it, I, I was just gonna watch the videos. But then, Booked and Boozy, Jada and Brooke, love you guys, are doing it for a podcast, and I thought, well, what the f I have to read it now, like, I can't not read it and not listen to Booked and Boozy podcast. Like, I have to do it. So I picked it up and we're texting a lot and having feelings. So it makes me really happy that they're reading it and I'm super pumped. And I know Rayanne is supposed to get to this one soon too. Um, so yeah, I'm rereading it, go me. I also was going to pick up In Holidays and that was kind of on my list and I read the first chapter and I just wasn't feeling it at this moment and I know this is like the perfect time to read it but I don't want to force myself to read anything that I am not immediately feeling mainly because I have been so reading slumpy recently and I have been finding it so difficult to actually like pick up books so I'm not making myself pick up anything that I don't feel at the moment so that's what we're doing. Um, what else? I mean, that's all I really have for books right now. Oh, I did get, okay, Switch. <laughs> I did get Animal Crossing for my Switch. Um, this isn't my Switch. It is my husband's. Well, what's mine is yours now. But, um, he has had this Switch for a while, and we started playing Super Mario Party on it and having a lot of fun, so then it kind of, like, I started getting more interested in learning how to play, and then through that, I played Animal Crossing all the time when I was younger. I had it on GameCube. Um, and I super wanted to get it for Switch, so I finally treated myself and got Animal Crossing, and I've been playing it a ton. Uh, my friend Angela plays it, so it's been really nice to, like, get to chat with her and talk to her about playing it, and we'll, like, literally get on the phone and play together for hours at a time, and it's 10 out of 10. Love her so much. 
Okay, the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys in this short little talking section, which um, I'm planning to make a drink and play some Animal Crossing while listening to an audiobook um, coming up very soon, but before that I did want to show you guys that I got some stuff for Christmas that I'm super excited about and a lot of it is for the channel, which I am so thankful for like my friends and family who are supporting me because, man, I don't know, it's special. Okay, so the first thing that I got is <laughs> this margarita machine. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like basically a giant blender and it tells you how to make margaritas in it, like slushied margaritas. Um, I had this on my Amazon wish list, and my dad got this for me, and I am so excited. I think he mainly got it for himself, because he is very excited to use it as well. But um, he got it for me, and he's already asking me to make drinks like 24-7, so here we go. Gonna get this done. But um, me and Rayanne both have been wanting something like this that we can put on our shelf and we can use um, not only for margaritas, but other types of blended drinks as well. So super pumped about this and then the second thing that I got was from my lovely husband and looks like a little composition book but it is actually an iPad Air I love it okay this is like the most special present I've ever gotten in my entire life but mainly he got it for me to basically work on my writing and um, our YouTube channel so I have Photoshop on it now and I have a bunch of like my writing materials on it which I'm super super excited about but the best thing is, I'm not going to pull it out to show you guys, but he got it engraved with a Court of Mist and Fury quote on it, and I literally have been crying about it ever since. It was the one, I think it was from Starfall, but he got it engraved, and it says, To the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. I love it. Why is my husband perfect? Oh yeah. And he got me an Apple Pencil with our wedding date on it. So I'm super pumped about it. I'm excited to learn some new things and try to step up our YouTube thumbnail game. Um, but basically that's what this is for. So I'll let you guys know how I'm doing with it maybe in a future vlog. I've been kind of exploring how to use the pencil and maybe uh, starting like a reading journal on my iPad. I have an actual one, but I'm super terrible at like handwriting and stuff, so if I can make one on here and use different fonts and like make it artsy, I think that it'll make me a lot happier, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have right now, so I'm going to make a quick drink and basically listen to Throne of Glass on my phone, on my audiobook, and play Animal Crossing, so... So then I tried to redo it and it still wasn't working and this was in the mixer for like 10 minutes and I think I'm just going to commit to it being gross. I even called my best friend Adriana who's a barista and she's made it before and it did not work so it's a dud. Don't make this recipe. Find a- oh god this looks disgusting. Ready? <laughs> I'm going to keep Adriana on while I do it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like all it really needs is just some more milk and some more sugar, and it's not too bad. I don't hate it. Okay, so I played Animal Crossing for about an hour or so, but now me and Rayanne are going to have a little planning session. Um, we're not seeing each other this month. California is on lockdown, so unfortunately we are not able to meet up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. This is how our YouTube channel started. It started in the middle of a pandemic, so you do what you can. So we're going to have a little planning session about 
basically what type of content we're gonna put out next month. So, yeah. Say hi, Rayanne. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I tried to make one of those Kahlua Dalgona coffees and it turned out really bad, but then I just kind of like made it work. So. I, um, it didn't work out like it's supposed to, but I kind of just stirred it in and then added whipped cream on top and said that it was fine. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, so you guys have probably guessed that it's been another few days since I vlogged. It's my routine. It's basically my brand now. But, um, today I'm just finishing it out. This is going to be the end of it. I have read so many books. I've tracked that I have read, um, two books this month. But the big thing that I have been reading is Throne of Glass. I talked about how I'm... All of a sudden, joining the Throne of Glass a thon because Booked and Boozy and because the TOG a thon. But, um, big issue is I'm supposed to be reading like one every month along with them. So, everyone has just read Throne of Glass and I am on Empire of Storms. How did I get here? <laughs> well, it's happening. Uh, comfort reads. It's the beginning of a new year. Of course, I want to read some stuff, some new things. But the comfort reads always come back for me. So, almost done with that. But um, yeah, I have a lot of really big plans to read next month. Me and Rayanne just planned out our February books. So we are super excited about it. I like literally can't wait for February, even though it's so soon into January. Um, but yeah, super excited. So I'm just gonna make some coffee and basically do all of my small around the house things. And then I'll let you guys go. Watching. please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already uh, vlogs come a little bit harder to me so hopefully it is something that I will get to work on and put more time in in the future um, but let me know if you guys enjoy content like this it's something that we are learning how to do mainly because we are not close together in order to film the videos that we prefer um, but hopefully that'll be over soon if not though if you guys want us to try doing something else while we're separated please give us some ideas down below we have a ton of things that we are talking about incorporating this year um, but it's a surprise so yay cheers